Hey everybody, it's Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG's Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2. In today's episode, we're going to do some side questing, like going to visit Pooh's storybook again, as well as finding a huge amount of green trinities, like what we're going to do right now, and uh, try to find some secret treasures as well. So, it'll pretty much be a side questing episode for this episode all, you know, all along. So anyway, let's get on with this episode that's already in progress, shall we? And let's go ahead and, and talk to this little boy over by the counter. <laughs> As I live and breathe, if it isn't Pinocchio. Oh, hi, Jiminy. What in the world are you doing down here? Mm, playing hide and seek. Oh, I just don't believe it. And here I was, up all night just worried sick about you. Why of all the Pinocchio? So that was actually Pinocchio, and looks like Jiminy has finally met with Pinocchio once again, and it looks like that Pinocchio was actually sort of lying to uh, Jiminy right now. And Jiminy has always been there for Pinocchio in the movies to make sure that Pinocchio is always telling the truth. And and it says that uh, the lies will, li a lie will always lies always grow and grow until you get caught so yeah that is the uh the whole dealio with pinocchio that's going on right there with the item that's right next to him saying that he only brought that to you know give as a present to somebody and he says that he never tells lies when jiminy's around and that he is always his conscience and it looks like he was telling the truth so uh yeah he's gonna need a he needs, needs to be good so he can become a real boy. Now, uh, and even he was uh, here at Traverse Town looking for his father. And it definitely seems like his father is not around here, so he's probably going to go look for him elsewhere. But Jiminy is telling him that there's all sorts of dangers and temptations out there and that he's going to need to stay behind. And we're going to have to try to go find Geppetto ourselves. And... He, J Jiminy tells him that, uh, tells Pinocchio that we will find Geppetto for him. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you could have asked first, Jiminy. How dare you? Okay, so we finally talk into Pinocchio, and that was one of the things I did not even realize that you can actually do in this game, is actually talk to Pinocchio like that. So, yeah, we finally uh, talk to him, and now we can go ahead and climb up this ladder that will lead us to the synthesis shop. Finally, since we're here, we can uh, use the shop to create new items like ones that we can't even find within this game. And there are a total of 25 items that we can set the size, but there are four dif five different sets, and four uh, four of the beginning sets are all uh, all I mean, each contain six newer items that we can synthesize. And after we have synthesized all 24 of those items, then we can obtain a then we can obtain the, the fifth set, which only has one new item that we can synthesize, and that is Sora's ultimate weapon within this, within this game, which is ironically called Ultima Weapon, you know, to uh, reference the Final Fantasy games that use that name of the weapon that is the strongest weapon in the game ever since Final Fantasy... Uh, either Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy VII. I know there was a, uh, there was a sword esper in Final Fantasy VI called Ultima, but it wasn't a... Uh, but it wasn't you know, like a weapon that you could wield in the game. But yes, we can obtain the strongest keyblade in the game called Ultima Weapon. And uh, we we managed to, uh, you know, complete uh, six of the items in the first set, and then we should be able to see six more in the second set, but I don't think we'll be able to forge any of, you know, synthesize any of those items to obtain them right now so we'll have to go through some of the other worlds that we are going to you know right now visit and we will be able to obtain those items and we should be able to obtain all of them before you know before we complete this let's play but i won't show you how uh, i won't show you me i won't show you how you know, with me synthesizing all the items, I will show you in another video of me having the items with me, the ones that I've already completed, as well as the Ultima Weapon, so that way I can show you that I already have that, uh, already have that strong Keyblade on hand. So, yeah, that is what's going on right now. 
uh, that was the introduction of the synthesis shops or the synth synthesis shop within this game kingdom hearts all right so now that we're done here i think the next place where we want to go is the item shop you know where huey dewey and louie are located so that way we can get donald and goofy some new weapons that they can wield for themselves hi sid <laughs> and okay all right if we head this way we will head to the item shop right here Okay, and we're inside the item shop now. Well, actually, we just went back to the first district. My bad. I tell you, Vegas is not really wanting to work for me and staying, you know, uh, on track with the uh, the frames that we find. Because, you know, with the game having a really good frame rate right th uh, like this, you know, when doing post-production, it tends to slow down the video. But uh, I, I also wanted to switch keyblades that Sora had on him to, you know, Three Wishes. The keyblade that we obtained from Aladdin and Genie. All right, we obtained the ninth uh, postcard, and we should be able to obtain the last one. That's with well, not not right now, but we will once we uh, after we visit uh, Pinocchio and his father Geppetto in one of the Disney worlds, which is the next one that we're about to head to. But that is where we will find the last postcard. Okay, there's Louie on the counter there, or is it Dewey? Oh, uh, I think it's uh, Louie. Okay. And yeah, there is a new, uh, there are some new, uh, weapons that we can obtain for Donald and Goofy, so we will go ahead and we will buy those for them right now. Actually, we'll want to get the Mithril Shield and the M Mega Staff. Okay, so, uh, let's go ahead and equip those for those two, and, uh, they should have new weapons that they can wield right now. Stronger ones, too. Okay, very good. Alright, so the next place where we're going to head to is over at the Magical Study, where we are going to visit Pooh's Storybook again. So, I will meet you guys there in just a second. Okay, we're finally here back at the Magic Study, or the Magical Study, and we're going to go over to the Pooh's Storybook, or just Pooh's Storybook. Not the Pooh's Storybook, but Pooh's Storybook, so that way we can actually take a look at one of the torn pages that was missing since we obtained one of them in Agrabah. So we're actually going to go over... Let's see. That's not where we want to go. Oh, I think it's at the, uh, you know, right there. Yes, that that's the one. The one that has the huge honey tree. Is anyone there? What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh? Pooh? Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Oh boy, Piglet looks scared, so looks like we're going to have to go around from behind and talk to him from there, so that way he doesn't run away from us ever again. Oh, oh dear, I was just, just, never mind, I'm sorry. Don't be scared, you're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Pooh! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. 
I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh! So Piglet brings Pooh a balloon for him to climb up the honey tree. So, if we can chase the bees that are, you know, that are, that are in the, uh, that are in the honey, uh, in the honeybee hives, you know, when climbing up the tree, then we should be able to get Pooh to have him obtain some honey. And so, Al comes out of nowhere, like he always does, to offer some good advice, and he is going to help Sora give him some pointers. So, he's going to tell us that we're going to need to climb up this honey tree with Pooh while he rides on the balloon, so that way he can go inside the holes to collect honey, and that the, uh, and that the bees will always try to distract him. And that's something that we got to be careful with, too, so, uh, and we have to swat at the bees with our keyblade as well, so, and, uh, when we do that, we are protecting Pooh from, you know, having his balloon popped. But if you can just get the timing right with where you need to strike the keyblade at, then you should be able to get past, you know, you should be able to get past this whole ordeal without any problems. But don't worry, it's a pretty simplistic, uh, game that, or mini game that you can get through, as long as you, you know, just judge your uh, aiming and that kind of stuff, and uh, you know, uh, judge your uh, jumps, you know, from jumping from limb to limb because they're kind of a pain to get to, you know, if you manually try to attempt them. But you can always try to use the rush command when you're at the bottom of the uh, when you're at the bottom of the honey tree, so that way you can try to catch up. But it's not always reliable, so you're gonna have to keep that in mind too. So. And as we climb up the trees, there are some bees right there, which we can swat at. And some more are going to come. And we're going to have to make a long jump to get over there. <laughs> bees. And don't worry, there are no cars around here where uh, Chris Farley as Tommy Boy has uh, bees in his car, infect you know, and infecting his car to where it'll make him itch it from you know, where the stings will make him itch and just get out of the car, just screaming like a madman to get the bees off of him. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was like one of the favorite things I actually liked about that movie, Tommy Boy, was the scene where, you know, of him trying to stop the bees from trying to uh, get in the car or whatever. Or, you know, but not try to stop the bees from getting in the car, or pretending to have bees in his car to get away from cops because, you know, he didn't want to get pulled over or whatever. He, he wanted to avoid getting a ticket. Since uh, Richard, his friend Richard, who was played by David Spade, uh, had beer in the car, so uh, and there was one part where Richard was about to vomit, and then uh, it made uh, Chris's character Tommy try to uh, swerve uh, a lot when on the road, and the police were trying to stop him, and then he tried uh, driving back and forth, you know, from side to side like a madman, just heavily. Because he wanted to give the cops the impression that he was being attacked by bees that were that that he said were in the car, so that way he doesn't have you know doesn't get pulled over. Well, he did get pulled over, but that way he doesn't even get thrown into jail or get a ticket or anything just to get the cops away from him. So yeah, that that was like one of the funniest things about that movie. It was just it was so hilarious. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I miss Tommy Boy. It's just, and it's such a shame, too, that Chris Farley is no longer living in this world. I mean, that guy, he had so much great potential for, you know, Hollywood that I definitely would have liked to seen him, you know, put on a great performance for everybody in the long run. But now, you know, since he passed away about 15 years ago, that just, it's, it's an impossibility. But he will, he will live on in my heart as one of the greatest comedians that has ever lived. And he was actually supposed to be the person who was originally supposed to play Shrek in the movies before Michael Ma before not Michael Myers, not the serial killer, but before his uh be but before his SNL buddy Mike Myers was supposed, you know, was to take over the role. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, that's one of the things I miss about the guy. Wish he was still with us, but at least we can appreciate the Shrek movies for what they are, because Mike Myers does a really good job for the character. And the movie Puss, Puss in Boots was actually a pretty good one, too. Alright, we're done. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> All right, we are done with that torn page, and that torn page will actually get transformed into a new item for us, which is Nature Spark. That is a brand new summon uh, summon gem that we obtained and that we now have obtained. And when we come back out here in the magical study, we can talk to the fairy godmother, and she will unlock the contents within that summon gem for us, and we'll see who the next summon spell is. And I take it's another critter from a Disney World that we have not even met before, or have not even seen yet. I'm kind of curious to know how Square or how Tetsuya Nomura is going to pull off the Disney Worlds that have not been seen yet from, you know, that are within this game, especially through the summon, summon stones that we obtain in this game. Because there are some Disney Worlds that we still have not visited. And for the, you know, like the next Kingdom Hearts game for Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm still itching to see Tetsuya Nomura go into like the world of like DuckTales or maybe Chippendales Rescue Rangers or Tailspin or Jungle Book or whatever. So yeah, there's a lot that I'm still expecting. Anyway, let's go find some green Trinity Marks, so I will be right back. Alright, the first place where we want to go is here in Wonderland, and it's at the place where we start, you know, where we started Wonderland at the beginning of, you know, when we came here in this world. And there is that Trinity mark on the floor right behind the save spot. And if we use the Trinity ladder, we should be able to get a treasure chest come out of the chimney that was within the rabbit hole. Alright, the next place is in the Bazaar Room. Okay, so here we are in the Bazaar Room, and we need to go inside the fireplace. And it's right here. So, uh, once we get the treasure chest that's within the chimney, then we should be able to obtain another item, which I think... Okay, I see. All right, now we're done here in Wonderland, so let's go to Olympus Coliseum. Actually, there's actually one more thing that I want to do before we leave uh, Wonderland. There's actually a treasure chest that contains a really important item that you'll need if you want to grow Sora's stats in this game. So it's right over here where that uh, lamppost is, so let's take care of the enemies that are around here before we even grab the treasure chest from the from, you know, the, uh, candles, you know, from the candle post or whatever, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, those red nocturnes can be a pain in the butt, too, with them coming out in, you know, in huge numbers like that. Okay, if we open up this treasure chest, we'll actually get a defense up. All right, that's all I wanted to show you, so now we can move to the Olympus Coliseum to see what we missed out on. Okay, here we are at the Olympus Coliseum, and uh, the place we need to go is to the left of the main entrance, where the uh, tournament uh, brackets are. Okay, now we're doing the Trinity Ladder right here, and we'll obtain another item, and I think we obtain a Mithril here. Evidently we do, but anyway. Here we are at Deep Jungle again, after we got done with the... Uh, Olympus Coliseum, and we actually need to go to the treetop. And there was also a sign that told us that we can play through the, you know, sliding down on the tree limbs again, you know, like we did at the beginning when, of this uh, world in terms of story progression, if we want to obtain some special items. And we'll do that real quick right before we close this episode. Alright, we did the Trinity Ladder here, and that will give us some HP balls and a Mithril Shard. Very good. So... We're in for a bunch of uh, health restoration, I suppose. Sora's going to the doctor here. <laughs> it's a great place, too. Anyway, let me show you the uh, Sliding Tree minigame again, and then we'll clo close off this episode. But basically, for this uh, for this part of the uh, minigame, you actually want to collect the nuts that are on the that are you know on the long tree limb right here. You need to collect ten of them, and then you will get a special item. A one that will help Sora grow in character as well. Or any of your characters, rather. Okay, we need to obtain one more. Alright, we obtained all of them, and we gained ourselves an AP up for our troubles. 
Very good. So we obtain those special items. And now that we obtained that and, you know, saw those uh, Trinity Marks throughout this level, I mean, throughout this video, and going through Pooh's storybook to check out the first Torn page, I think this is a perfect spot to where we can go ahead and we can close off this episode right here. So anyway, gamers, next time on Double RPGs Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2, we are going to go to the next Disney World and explore and see what all lies before us. Anyway, gamers, if you have not done so already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description, and if you like what you saw, then be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys then.